Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Yes, we are finally back in action, and we are going to be checking out Texas. I have not seen Texas at all, so we're in Amarillo, and we're going to be taking a run, I believe, to Galveston. So we're going to get a good long drive. We're going to catch up on everything and tell you where I've been, what's going on with American Truck Sim, and what the future holds. And uh, we'll get started. Let's do it. All right. I feel pretty rusty. And I got to say a big thanks to Thrustmaster as always for sponsoring these America Truck Sim videos with the TGT2. That's what I'm using. We'll go over everything I'm using here today uh, as we get going down the road. And a huge thanks to ATSaccessories.com as well. That's what the button box I have over here is. So let's fire up the truck. And we're running the John Ruta Classic XL. And she is a beauty, man. She really is. And we're taking some fruit juice, is what we're doing. Put this thing into gear and let's get rolling down the road. Oh, it feels so good to be back in America Truck Sim. Let me tell you what. And you'll notice everything's changed. I'm on a total different setup now. This is the Next Level Racing GT Elite um, actual rig here. And then I'm running the Motion Platform V3 on a, I think it's an ERS-1 is the name of the actual seat I'm using. Oh, using Z mods, beautiful cat engine. I'm just ready for a nice stroll here in Texas today. Graphical glitches and things like that will be fixed along the way. Um, I'm running JBX graphics mod, uh, JBX graphics three, actually. So that's what we're running with that and a bunch of other mods and I can always go over that at the very end of the video since it's been a while and maybe you want to see what I'm using. Good old Jazzy Cat mods for all the AI cars. We're going to go after this guy right here. That'll work for me. Let's get out here onto the road. Skip some gears there. And go around this corner here. We'll use our engine brake and all that a little bit later on here, but for right now, I'm just kind of getting used to everything. And it's good to have the motion platform back. <laughs> back in action. And I also currently, how I'm setting up uh, everything with recording, um, I can't hear myself in my headset like I normally can, so sometimes my speech can be a little off because of that. And the uh, monitor stand you're seeing here, that is uh, a Next Level Racing monitor stand. And by default, it did not support this monitor that I'm running, and it's a 48-inch monitor. It's not a TV. Kind of like riding a bike, you just don't forget how to do it, you know? Oh. There's a fire truck coming down there. I was like, oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you there. My bad. Now, I'm not used to the uh, actual roads in Texas either. So I assume we're going to stay in this lane. Because we're going to be getting on the highway. It looks like Highway 40. And happy Friday to all of you. Hopefully you're having a great week so far and you're ready for the weekend. Um, I did not expect to have this video going out as late as it is right now, but it's been an all day event of getting everything tweaked and all the mods installed correctly where they all go. Uh, with John Rudis truck here, this beautiful Freightliner XL, I didn't, oh, left and then a left. Okay. Can we do that? I think we can. Let's see. That's, that's a good way to slow her down right there. Yeah, we can make a left here. Okay. I was worried like they were going to be going left too, but they're not. Whoa, that Dodge Magnum was going fast, man. Let this Peterbilt go here real quick. But getting everything working right was uh, kind of a, a process. We're making a right turn now. And you'll notice I have a little 
white scuff thing here is where I had my turn signal mounted, but it doesn't fit on this PGT2 satellite. Childress is 98, Wichita Falls in Fort Worth. Man, this looks so good. So good. So I am uh, using track IR to look around freely with my head. I get that question all the time. That's what's doing. That's what's doing. <laughs> is that the word? Maybe. Getting back to it, so the steering wheel was missing on my John Ruta truck. I didn't realize if you buy a John Ruta truck, the key has to go below the actual truck. Lesson to learn there. And then for JBX graphics, I didn't have a skybox working, so I legitimately had to go through all the files and find out why, and it was an outdated version of the skybox. So go figure. Why did it say 121 miles an hour is the... Oh, I bet you it's kilometers. It's small things. I'll fix that here in a little while. But as of right now, no big deal. Let's go medium on our engine brake here. Let's have it ready to go. In case we need it. So what do you guys think of Texas so far? Are you enjoying it? I haven't seen any of it. That's why we're doing a long trip here today. We're getting into all of it. We got a lot to catch up about. A lot. Got a train up here on the left. One thing I cannot figure out. So I have like the settings pretty much just maxed out on this. And I still get anti-aliasing and shimmering happening with power lines and fences and things like that. And I can't figure out how to get rid of that yet. So I'm still... Still uh, putting it all together. I made sure I had shadows on, because I remember a long time ago, I actually didn't have shadows. Oh, we got gators up here on the right. Got them alligators on the road. And a rest area, too. I'm using a different AI traffic mod, so it should be... I don't know why they're all stopped there. It should be something a little bit different. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, though. I can tell you that. Looks like rain ahead, doesn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, hit the waker uppers. Don't mind me. I'm still getting used to where everything's at. <laughs> this button box mount was kind of tough because it uses a VESA mount on it, but the button box... Um, arm there did not wasn't made up for it so i ended up going to home depot and getting some of those uh, fender washers and that did the trick because i just needed that space to like hold it against these huge the big holes that's like an m5 uh, bolt that goes in it slower down here jeff just a little bit oh man Prairie Dog Town. I'm so excited to see Texas for the first time. This is so cool. So, 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 so cool. Um, but yeah, the VESA on the back of that monitor, the 48 inch monitor, it's an AORUS. I think it's like a 48 OU or whatever. I forget the name of it. But it has a 300 by 300 VESA mount on it. That's. I wasn't compatible with this, so I ended up getting... I found found some adapters, or these little brackets that go on the back of your VESA mount um, for 300 by 300 and then it was fine. Hey, we don't have to stop at the way station. How cool is that? Boy, that truck over there, he's making some noise, isn't he? Let's roll the windows down and just listen to the sounds. Good old American truck sim. Yeah, it 
It's definitely in kilometers, I can tell. It's all the new gas stations and truck stops they've been adding. Pretty amazing. And I'm using that Real Companies mod that's on the Steam Workshop. mod that makes it sound like it's in the cabin rather than just a, a WAV file being imported into the game because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> so with the OCRP I have been working on that end of things as well and we uh, well we're gonna be opening applications up before too long I can tell you that sooner than later and I will let you know exactly when that happens. Let's roll our windows back up. But um, back to it, I was having those horrible freezing things happening with OCRP, so that's why I stopped doing it. And I uninstalled all of Grand Theft Auto, reinstalled everything, and uh, right now I have it set up to where I just have to reinstall by them, and then we're back, back to it again. But I miss it, and it will be returning. And in 2023, that's the goal. I plan on having three major series on this channel moving forward. Everything else will be something small, like BeamNG or something. Um, but the big three are going to be OCRP, American Truck Simulator, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Those are the big three I'm going to be doing. And uh, a big thanks to all you guys that showed up for the World Flight and supported that whole thing. I will be doing that again next year. Or sorry, yeah. Well, it's technically next year, so 2023 I'll be doing it. Uh, I'm going to go out there in the summer. And I'm going to be doing some training uh, with some new people that are that have been added to the team. And one of those people is uh, Paul. Paul F. He's one of the ones that uh, I've, you know, flew uh, Air One with in OCRP. He's a cop in OCRP, but he's a real world pilot. So we're going to go out there and do that. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. But I got uh, promoted to captain on that 737. So I won't be flying in the right seat anymore. I'll just be flying from the left. Which is pretty neat. Little Caesars pizza pizza. Hot and ready. Man, I'll tell you why. I just can't do it. Little Caesars, I know it's super cheap pizza, but I just can't eat it, man. It's so bad. It's terrible. Man, I'm loving all the new cars I'm seeing with the Jazzy Cat mod. Look at those windmills. What a beautiful, beautiful day to be driving in a virtual world in virtual Texas. And if we, we're gonna be driving to Texas a lot, but during the winter, not just December, um, if we're up like in Idaho or Colorado, I'll put the, the weather mod in, the winter one. And they made an addition to it, which is awesome. They made it to where you can have the snow on the ground, but the roads are clear, and that's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that. An Ashley Furniture truck, too. Just taking in all the sights, all the scenery. All the wildflowers in the middle. Look at the detail that SCS has been putting in. And they did announce that uh, Oklahoma is coming out next. And I'm very excited for that. We're going to have almost half of the United States done. Oh, man. Lost my job today right there. Pioneer. The name of this town, probably. More than likely it is. Wichita Falls, that's where we're at. Okay. I've never been to Wichita Falls. Oh, I don't have the barriers turned off either. I know they added that as an option you can turn off now. 
you don't have to have a mod for it, which is really nice. All right, we want to go this way. So we're just going south, man, towards Galveston. Fun fact, uh, back in the 90s, I almost moved to Galveston. Oh, man, hello. They got some problems happening here. Got some bad stuff happening here. Somebody crashed. Or oh, please tell me it's not a detour. Yeah, he's got his hazards on. We'll do the same. Oh, man. Well, while we're here... Oh, no, we're moving. Let's see what they're doing here. It looks like they're trying to detour people. Yes, they are. Okay. Must be a bad accident that happened. Something's eating our frame rates too. Okay. Yeah, something was eating our frame rates right there. I'm not sure what that was about. Why was that thing not in gear? There we go. We're in gear. Okay, I'm not sure where we're going to be going here, but it looks like we're getting on this highway now. Dude, it's so weird to see Highway 44 as an option. Living in Missouri, you know, you know Interstate 44 very well. And uh, we've finally seen recognizable highways, for me at least, here in the game now. Which means that they're getting closer and closer to Missouri too. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to go north or south. Probably like the Dakotas and all that stuff. I'm not sure. Oop, didn't let that one go into gear. There we go. Bacon Switch Road. I wonder what made them call it that. Oh, we're going to have to get off here and then we can go back on that highway. I see. But there's like hard. There's no traffic on the road right here. This is a mess, man. I know they're supposed to yield for us, but you could never be too sure, you know? We'll turn left, don't worry. We're trying to figure out where they're having us go here. Wait for that Mitsubishi to go. And the Nissan. You call it Nissan or Nissan? I know a lot of people call those things differently. Yep, we're getting back on the highway. Because they had that whole exit closed off. That's what it was. It was so strange. I mean, that thing, that detour was eating our frame rates alive. It must be something to do with those emergency lights or something. I don't know. So we're getting back on 44 now. Get on the highway. Put through all our gears. Got that 18 speed in here. My favorite transmission. Using all of our gears. Yep, we're getting back on the highway now. We're good. Oh, that wasn't too bad of a detour. I had all those turned off in my last game. And by the way, profiles have been wiped. So I do have a new profile I'm going to be working on, uh, probably for doing Twitch streams, which is like starting from the beginning and working my way up, buying a truck and using it. Um, but this 
I just I downloaded a profile off of ATS mods. Um, so it has like $15 million and all that stuff. That way we can do mods and all that because trust me, when I started out, I had, you have no money. You can't get any modded trucks. You can't get anything. You don't own anything. So that's the reason why you're going to see me having a bajillion dollars here. <laughs> All right, so Lubbock and Abilene, Texarkana and Fort Worth. Oh man, I have to do a run to Texarkana. Now that will be cool with like the coast to coast mod. I don't even have any map mods installed yet. And I plan on doing some more uh, Australian trucking as well. I know Rob's been working on his map for a long time and it's come a long way. Now, there's, there's something nice about that too slow down for a second um is that you know when you've been out of the loop for a while it's not so bad because there's so many cool things when you come back you know but i know a lot of you missed it and trust me i missed it too but it's like what i told thrustmaster i was like i, I tried making content over there on that pc and it just, it wasn't good. It wasn't like the quality I like for America Truck Sim. And I wasn't, uh, wasn't happy with it. And it, it would come across that way in videos, you know? So I wanted to make sure that the rig was finished. I have a dedicated PC for this rig. This is a truck driving rig. So, I mean, when I say we're back, we're back. And then I have another office that's gonna have my whole flight sim set up in there. And then I have my editing station and my gaming station over there on the right. So the dream has come true. It's been a dream of mine for a very long time that I wanted to have, um, you know, three separate setups. And here we are. It's finally come to fruition after all this time. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you very much for the love and all the support you have shown me over the years. It's changed my life in so many ways. And all I can ever do is say thank you. It's never enough, but I can always say thank you. There's an access road. Look at this, we're up at 75 miles an hour now. Cranking her up. Got a picnic area coming up here. Go medium the jig. Oh, it doesn't slow us down too much. And I put a rain guard over there on the side, but it, it crops out some of my right uh, mirrors, so that's not good. Don't mind me all over the road. Oh man, this is so, so awesome to have Texas. I was looking forward to it so much. And now it's here. If I need anything from McDonald's? There's only a couple things I get from McDonald's. I'll get the, um, the Egg McMuffin, like any of the breakfast items I'll get. Egg McMuffin, the McGriddle, Things like that and then for the other side of the coin I'll eat chicken nuggets that's pretty much it I don't I don't care for their hamburgers or anything like that not for me we're gonna be exiting up here getting on the highway 35 yep it will be yeah, I need to find out a better way to mount that uh, a turn signal on this. And I have some ideas. I'm going to go over it with Justin. and uh, Justin from ATSaccessories.com. Oh, check it out. Got a Texas trooper. Uh, Justin from ATS Accessories. He's going to be doing a convoy with me soon. And we're going to be going over some new stuff that he's got in the works. I got to come over, car. What a jackwad. Really, dude? And he hit me. 
What an idiot. I was trying to get over, but in true fashion, I know it's realistic, because people don't want to move over ever. Um, he just would not let me over. I had my blinker on and trying to get over, and then he just turns his car right into me, so. I'm not even gonna feel bad about that one. Well, I think that's Dallas, right? We're in Dallas? Outside of Dallas? I think we are. Another thing with this uh, rig is that I uh, have my mouse and keyboard on the left side, and that, that's been taking a little bit to get used to. Not having a desk is nice. I'm seeing some skips and stutters. I see a truck or car back there. I don't want to free over. Casually slow down here. Don't mind me. This is so cool, man. And Texas is huge. Like, I think we still got a long way to go. We might even be driving into the night. I don't know. With the scale of uh, the game. Ooh, hello. Slow her down, slow her down. That was a tight turn. The scale of the game and how everything's going here, we might be driving in the night. I have the, the AI traffic mod in there, which I'm not getting a lot of traffic from, so I might have to do the old console, uh, the G traffic three. To try to get more out of them. Don't let your last words be a text. Text and drive is illegal in Texas, as it should be. What's this van doing? You getting on the highway, or are you just gonna stay right there? All right. All right, Doritos. I tried a new flavor of Doritos recently. It was the Flamas ones. Have you tried those? They're very lime uh, heavy. Like they, they taste like lime a lot. So if you like Tostitos, like hints of lime chips, it's got like that, but with a lot more of a lime flavor to it. Kind of strange. And then heat after it. So, interesting for sure. <laughs> another, <laughs> another really cool thing. I'm still getting over being sick, by the way. That slowed down this entire process of building all this stuff. I had gotten uh, the C. The big C once, and then uh, I had just gotten the flu. So that's been a lot of fun, let me tell you. Keep left, and then keep right. So keep left, then keep right. Okay, so yep, not this exit, but the next one. Towards Houston, 45 South. You got it. Keep right. I think our windows are still rolled down, aren't they? Exiting right. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh, we got an inspection. Can't always get lucky with the way stations. This one's no different. Windows down. You can find a new route all you want. That is a scary way to get on this road here. And the way station's on the left, okay. We'll turn our engine brake off. I know the scale of people don't like it whenever you have that thing cranked up. A small little scale house.
We're gonna stop at the scale, don't worry. This will be a perfect time. We're gonna go in, I'm gonna change uh, things over to miles per hour. And I think there's something else I need to do. Let's see. All right, let's see what they got. They're happy with it. Okay, let me do that real fast. Let's get on out of here. This thing into gear. 45 mile an hour right there. I fixed that and I turned the detours off, so we shouldn't run any more of those. And getting out of here is gonna be interesting. Let me tell you what. Because you can't really see too well. You're completely blind on this side. to go off my little little mirror there's a car coming but he sees me we're good oh yeah I was gonna change the traffic setting to three oh that's all right Maybe it's a good thing to have, you know, for this run today, to not have that many cars on the road. Let's say it's because of the holidays. <laughs> yeah, let's roll our windows back up. We can actually use our cruise control here too. Once they get back up to speed. Those cars are going fast on the outer road. Corsicana. Another cool thing is when we get a new state, everybody gets to say in the comments uh, how accurate the areas are around them. Because, you know, SES doesn't make things like super accurate. They're just trying to make it have the feel of that place, you know? Doing a one-to-one -one scale is like almost impossible. Now the uh, motion platform that I use, it's pretty much a seat mover because the seat is attached to it. And uh, they had a new version of it come out. So it made every, all like the body roll left to right is a lot more subtle. You can see me move around in my chair a little bit here, but that's a lot more subtle. When you're going through the gears, you can actually kind of feel it now, which is really neat. I have that turned down. I'm just kind of still messing with the settings to get everything where I like it. But, ah, oh, it's so cool to have everything here. after so long, you know? I'm just so relieved. Oh, hello. Not sure what that was about, but okay. It's like getting those little skips, but you know what? I remember that was like a Jazzy Cat thing. And I did take out a mod that had the motorcycles in it because I was just getting motorcycles constantly everywhere I went. Oh, that's the reason for that. Let's get our lights on here. And we are going to be driving into the night, which is pretty darn cool. I'm excited for it. You know, as that goes off, I'm going to turn this left light off so I can see a little bit better at night. That'll be nice. Nobody has their headlights on yet. Somebody up there, you see that? We have an inspection station coming up. I wonder if we're gonna have to pull in. Yeah, we are. Better believe it. Oh, uh, no. What's happening here? Can't get off here. Okay. I'm confused. Cause that's a blocker and we will run right into that thing. So that's a no. Oh, it's up there. I see. Boy, threw me off. Sorry. First time in Texas, y'all. <laughs> I 
They understand, right? Sure they do. I'm gonna turn on my hazards because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll get the lights off and all that, and I'm gonna try to get the traffic turned up a little bit. It'll be nice to have a little bit more traffic. So let me do that, and then we'll continue our journey. All right, we are good to go now, and yes, the sun has gone down. There's the moon starting to come out. Let's go ahead and get on the road. I'll show you the outside view of the truck a little bit here as we get into the lights, because she is a beauty. The John Ruta Classic XL. Classic Freaks Shaker. I still need to turn the traffic down a little bit. It's a little loud, so I think I'll do that before we continue on. Stop the truck stale, you got it. Stale? The scale, that's what I meant to say. The scale. All right, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna turn the traffic volume down. It's a little loud for for my liking. Let's see what they say. 79,900 pounds, woohoo. All right, let's get out of here. Got G traffic set to three now. So more traffic on the roads. And I turned down the uh, sound of the traffic volume out there. So it's a little bit more balanced. We drive into the night here. Just blend right back into uh, everybody. let us on the highway that was nice of him I don't know about this guy here though they're going super slow aren't they I will say man it looks so good this monitor is absolutely incredible now, I'm playing in 1440p for YouTube I'm not playing in 4k it's a 4k monitor shut up and just let you listen to some truck in here at night the windows rolled down
right, folks, we are back. Sorry, had a game crash. First one I've had so far. Not sure if it was that area there, so I went just a little past it. And we should be okay. When you have a bunch of mods in the game, sometimes that happens, so. Can't even be upset about it, you know? We're still on Highway 45 here. Still trucking south towards Galveston. We're pretty much back up to speed now. Well, kind of for the most part. I'll let this guy in. We're going to be exiting here. To get over before this truck doesn't let us. Don't mind me, buddy. Need to get over. Oh, no, wait. Maybe we don't. Nope. It's confusing, man. We stay in this lane right here. Okay. My bad. Actually, we'll keep that on for now. Or it's downtown. Now, this is a big city. That's Houston right there. Keep right. Okay. Probably all the way over again, but maybe not. I'm gonna have to get used to this whole interchange, man. It's all different. It's all brand new, but man, Houston looks amazing at night. Look at that. Looks really good. See the pretty, uh, pretty lights, but we gotta drive. <laughs> okay, we're gonna exit here. We're we gonna stay in the middle. Can we stay right where we're at. We'll be okay. I think. They're not saying much, are they? The 288, we're gonna stay right here. Okay, it all goes the same direction. All right, we're good. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Pull our window down a little bit here, gotta listen to this. Jake break. anything going on on New Year's Eve you check out the Twitch channel twitch.tv slash jfabiano I will be hosting another karaoke stream we're doing a karaoke kind of New Year's Eve uh, party it'll be on stream so if you don't have anything going on you want to stop by more than welcome to do so all right let's focus up here getting out of the out of the city We're getting closer to Galveston now. The SPH Parkway. Explore Texas. For the American Truck Sim. You know what's interesting? Almost all of the crashes that I ever get in this game always seem to be revolved around big intersections. Big, you know huge downtown loops and things like that and a lot of skips are from the city so I mean that makes sense slow down to 65 and we'll use our cruise control there we go actually you know 
that'll do. Go ahead and switch her into eight high, and then we'll get that cruise on. There we go. Now we're just sipping the sipping the diesel now. Woo, that is a tight turn. I felt that one in the seat. <laughs> and a big, huge bridge we're going over. That's what it looks like. All right, this is our exit. So we're, we're heading into Galveston now. Welcome to Galveston, everybody. We made it. Only had a game crash, but that's all right. Turn right. our windows down since we're in the city. And listen to all the wonderful sounds. Hey, we discovered a new viewpoint. How cool is that? We're right, gonna make it a left here. The port of Galveston. We get this fruit juice from Tyson. <laughs> Does Tyson even make fruit juice? I do not believe they do, but I could be wrong about that. As I am wrong about many things. You should always go through life as if you don't know everything, you know what I mean? It, you learn so much more. The other thing I just always disagree with people is a lot of people harp on how people pronounce towns and names of places and it's you know unless you're like extremely well traveled there's no way you're gonna know from the locals of how you're supposed to pronounce everything let's stay in the right lane right lane it is We don't hit every single light, that would be wonderful. I also love they added the uh, the torque now on the truck. Like you'll actually see the nose kind of like torque around. Not torque, but torque. Uh, we'll have to get in the left lane. Go straight on. Railroad crossing. I see no trains. We're in the clear. Yeah, the detail in Texas is absolutely crazy, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. We're not going to make this light. No way. No way, man. Yep, we're going into the Galveston port is where they're sending us right now. I can do that. But yeah, I'm blown away by what I've seen in Texas so far. It's just hard to like take it all in, you know, whenever uh, I've been so out of the loop and I've been waiting. I was like, I'm not exploring Texas until you guys. And I, uh, <laughs> with the profile I downloaded they had already explored some of Texas so if you see that on the map that's the reason why but I I have not seen it and that's a lot of railroad tracks here yeah I can feel that in the seat just a little bit not very much so I still need to turn my effects up on the seat a little bit more so I bounce around a little bit more than I am Gotta say hello to these people. Hey, how you doing tonight? Yup, we got the fruit juice. All right, have a good one. Okay, folks. We made it. Now all I have to do is just drop the trailer. Can we remember how to do that? Uh, I think we'll be okay. A stop sign. Wow, 
Well, I like what the new uh, JBX Graphics 3. The moon lights up those clouds. Looks really good. Excuse me. All right, where do they want this thing at? Up here on the right? It looks like. It needs to be right here on the right, but we can go down here and turn around. Where's it at? I really don't know. Hmm. We're going to have to get out and look, man. I don't know where they want this thing at. You know what I'm thinking? They probably don't have it set up to where with this profile that you have to, uh, that you have automatic skilled parking. So I bet I have to talk to the, to them here and see where they want me at. So let me go do that. And then we're going to find out. Yep. Right there. All right. They told us where they want it right up here on the left. So we're going to do exactly that. Makes a lot more sense now. Right there, you can see the lines. Should be a pretty straightforward drop, honestly. There's plenty of room out here. Well, maybe not. There's a yard dog right there. It could be a little rough. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, this should be okay. It might be all right here. We go up here like this. Let's see what our setup was like here. We're about to find out, aren't we? We certainly are. Don't want to hit the trailer. My track IR is not set up for me to look that far. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get out and look. Okay, from what I can see here, we need to be a lot further forward. So we are not even close to the lines. So. We're going to have to go to the left more. This is a little more tricky than I thought it was going to be, but you know what we can do? We can just kind of get up next to this right here and we'll be okay. Yeah, we're, we're all right. We don't need the, we don't need them patronizing us here. We know how to back. We can do it. I have faith. Is it to fade that back into its spot? All right. So it's kind of in the right direction here, but that trailer on the right side is causing problems for us here. I mean, we might be okay if we just start bringing it around and we don't hit that. We'll be all right. But I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. All right. Park and break away. Let's try to bring this thing around without hitting that trailer over there now, because that is going to be the hard part, especially at night. You can't see anything. Um, I mean, the trailer's going where it needs to go. So as long as we clear this nose here, we'll be in good shape. So let's do that. Yeah, trailer's where it needs to go. We're gonna have to do a little bit of moving around. Especially now. So pull it up to the right and we'll be okay. Hard to see where how close we are to these trailers on the right. They're throwing us off a little bit. Right on back. Okay, turn off my uh, track IR and we're a little bit to the left. So we got to get a little bit more to the right, uh, but we can do that by pulling up and then being a little bit more shallow uh, of a back. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull up into the right like this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull up the whole trailer. So let's go. Let's pull the whole trailer up to the left here like that and then off to the right. And now if we back in a little more shallow, we should be good. Yeah, something like that right there, you know? If we bring the nose all the way around, it'll be okay. And then we gotta make sure we don't hit anything on the right. It's gonna be close, but I think we got it for the most part. Let me turn our track IR back on here. Yep, we're good. Let's bring it all the way back. It's a shorter trailer than you think. All right, let's get out and look one more time. All right, we're pretty much in there. So if I can bring the tractor around, we'll get the trailer pointed to the right and we'll be in good shape. All right. Well, we made it in there now, so I know what we're working with. I just want to make sure we're going to hit this trailer on the right there, you know? 
Let's pull the trailer over to the right a little bit. All right, here next to this yard dog. And back this way she goes. More sharp that way. Then straighten it out. Yeah, it was a lot tighter. I thought it was going to be a straight back, but no sirree, Bob. Not the case. Oh, shut up. I hate that. It always asks you, you sure you want to do that? You sure you like what you're doing? It's like, well, not always, but I do today. <laughs> All right, we're going to be we're gonna be good here. Let's get it going that way, just like that. And it's going to be in there without hitting that trick. Shut up. Get out of here. Out of my face. There we go. Now we're on the line, right where I want to be. All right, there. Perfect. Make sure we don't run out of air, too, you know? It was getting close. All right, we, we nailed it on that one. That was tough, man. With those yard dogs and the uh, trailers right there, it really screwed us up. Am I going back? All right, we can pull that trailer to the right a little bit more and we'll be okay. It's a little bit too far to the left. And if we're going to do the job, we might as well do it right, you know? There, like that. Perfect. Get out of my face with that. There we go, right there. That's where I want to be. Yeah, perfectly on the lines. Wait for him to turn green. Also, the back beeper's on. I hate that. We did it. All right, folks. How about that? Put our secondary lights on and uh, we can go ahead and detach and see what we got. And we got an excellent. How about that? 606 miles total driven. It took us 13 hours and 54 minutes, 83.5 gallons of fuel consumed. And that's where we are at. All right. And welcome to the mod manager and everything I'm running here. Got realistic mirror FOV here, 1.46. And then here is all the JBX graphics I have set up. You have a 0, 5, 6, 8, and 9 for that, as you should. Uh, improved guardrails, icons. That's that advanced SES traffic uh, that I'm using. Sound fixes pack, of course. Real AI traffic, F mod sounds. Uh, the municipal police traffic pack. Got to have that. Uh, these are all the Jazzy Cat ones. So you have the AI traffic pack, painted truck traffic pack. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, classic AI traffic pack. Then the uh, truck traffic pack. Then I have the realistic truck physics mod by FRKN64. Uh, Ruta's Ram 3500 sounds for that. Uh, then these are all the Z mod sounds here. So I put all my sounds all together here. Um, and we were using the cat engines today. And then coming down here is all the fun little uh, extras, which are free ones actually. So you have like the air brake sound mod, weather sound and effect mod, train crossing, interior noise mod, uh, wind, uh, road and wind noise sound, and the GPS voice mod as well. So I have all of my sound mods right there. And then we go into the real uh company stuff so the real delivery trucks real companies gas stations and billboards that one right there is on the steam workshop and then real advertisements uh mfg frameless dump trailer that is z mods trailer uh arrow two for trucks that's the steam workshop mod that adds the arrow packages to the uh the trucks and we have the cfi skins and trailer skins real tires mod smarties wheel packs all right here together and then this is all the john ruda um uh, trailer pack here and then Ruta's Ram trailers the real logos for the John Ruta mods you can find that one on the Steam Workshop as well uh, engine sounds this is all part of the, the John Ruta stuff so you have your engine sounds there and then you put all your steering wheel compatibilities all on the here at the top and then the accessory compatibilities uh, and then you put the trucks themselves or sorry uh, no compatibility then the SISL compatibilities SISL's mega pack that's how you get all the cool stuff inside the cabin uh, then we have the uh, realistic headlights for the classic and then for the 389. And then these are the truck files themselves. So the 389 glider, the 362, uh, the W900 uh, and his Ram are our classic XL as well. And then you put all the keys below those like that. And then the trucks and trailers wheels and trucks and trailers flare pack, which are requirements for the John Ruta stuff. So that's everything I'm running right there. If you were wondering that is it in the realistic mirror fov gotta have that that's a must have as well well folks that's gonna do it it feels so good to be back in american truck simulator let me know what you thought of it in the comments below enjoy your week and i'll see you guys next time take care